instead of filming a monthly favorites video, because I missed that boat this month again, I don't know, I'm getting lazy with those videos, I just, I can't, I can't even with them. But, instead of filming a monthly favorites video this month, I was going to film a more appropriate video for the beautiful weather that I've finally been experiencing. So I am filming my summertime essentials. This is going to be both clothing and makeup, but let's get started with the clothing because I feel like if I get started with the makeup, I'll get swatches all over my hand and then I'll get the swatches all over the clothes and it'll just be a really messy process. So I'm going to start with the clothes. First, in terms of essentials, I love rompers. I have always loved rompers. I like the idea of putting on one item of clothing and then suddenly having a whole outfit. And because of that, I am going to show you two of my favorites for summertime. The first is, okay, I don't even remember where I got this from. I want to say it was from like Mendocino or something. Mendocino circa 2012. No, earlier, circa 2009? Yeah, I think about 2009. Oh my god. Yeah, I've had this romper for a very long time. I was all up on that romper game before I even knew that the romper game was a game to be all up on. It is this floral romper. It looks a little bit more risque than it is actually. It's very loose and very flowy at the bottom and it's just got like a tube top kind of business and it's like a tame floral I feel because of the black in the back it kind of makes it a little bit more wearable. Oh you know it's kind of like the dress that I'm wearing now. I'm wearing a dress right now that also has a black like base and then flowers on top and I just find that kind of floral really wearable and less like happy 12 year old girl. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? So this is, rompers in general are an essential. This is one of my favorites, it's like a classic. I, the band has literally snapped in the top before and I had a friend fix it for me because I was like, I'm not ready to say goodbye yet. And so I've been wearing it ever since. This is a more recent edition. This is from H&M. Um, it is like a romper with like these kind of like arrows pointing downwards on it. It's like black and white patterned and it's got pockets and the back has this kind of like crosswork detailing. Do you see what I mean? And the back's pretty low so like even if you're wearing a bra it had better be a cute bra because like it's gonna show right through the back of it. But um, it's really loose, it's really flowy, it's got pockets and I also love this. I just love an outfit that requires little to no work. And that is what rompers do for me. The next summertime essential for me is gonna sound like a boring one, but hear me out. It is a pair of high-waisted black jeans, or black high-waisted black pants, whatever you're comfortable with, legging, jegging, jean, disco pant, whatever makes you happy. Some form of high-waisted black pant. I cannot count the amount of times when I've had a cute shirt and been like, I really don't know what to do with the downstairs mix-up. And nine times out of ten, I will just put on a pair of high-waisted black pants. I don't care that it's not seasonally appropriate. I don't care that there are tons of pattern prints and such in business. You really need a pair of high-waisted black pants. That's just a fact. Um, the ones that I'm currently loving are actually from H&M of all places, which is like, not somewhere associated with finding really awesome pants, but I've had these for like a good four or five months now, and they're like still kicking and going strong. They don't feel like jean material, they're like super stretchy. Um, they kind of feel like the consistency of like uh, the Lee jeans from Top Shops. Top Shops? Nope, just, just Top Shop. No S at the end there. Just Top Shop. They kind of feel like the Lee jeans from Top Shop, and um, they're very high waisted. Like they hit like, I want to say like belly button? They want to hit a. They hit. They hit over belly button, I think. And high-waisted jeans just make me feel more comfortable, even if I'm not wearing like a crop top. They make me feel more sucked in. They make me feel good about myself. I like the way they hug my figure, and I love these freaking jeans. Also, these jeans were like definitely under $20, like maybe $12.95. Not kidding. The last clothing essential that I have for summertime are these shoes, these platform sandals. Now I know they are ridiculously 90s. Like I know. I know. I had a moment to myself where I was like, am I doing this? Am I going back in time with these shoes? And I am, and I'm digging it. Um, the main reason why I love platform sandals for summertime is I love wearing like sandals in summer in general. Like, let your feet be free, let your nail polish show, it's great. But it's super annoying when you are wearing them outside and you come back inside a few hours later and you look down at your feet and you realize that your feet look like you are 
Frodo from The Hobbit from the angle down. They're just really gross. They're dirty. They're crusty. There's 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 so much what looks like soot on your foot. I just don't even get it. The world is so gross. And so that's kind of put me off wearing sandals in general because I'm like, I ain't even about that dirty foot life. Platform sandals solve that issue for me because now I can just like put these on and just like my feet are floating above the pavement and that brings me joy. And so I wear these all the time now. Any Anytime I can, I will. They go with everything because they're black, jeans, skirts, dresses, leggings stuff all this stuff they go with all this stuff um and they're relatively cheap i think they were 34.95 and i bought them from h&m and um i'm digging it they make you feel a little bit like a spice girl but like who doesn't want to feel like a spice girl when did you ever not want to feel like a spice girl don't lie to yourself you love that spice life okay so now to the beauty items that i can't live without during the summertime and first i'm gonna give a little shout out to the hourglass ambient lighting powder in radiant light I didn't want to get this for forever because I was like, that's a lot of money for a set-in powder and I don't know if I like that. But turns out I do like that. So I bought it and I'm wearing it today and it might have worn off because I did my makeup, my makeup quite a while ago. But um, this is one of the radiant lighting powders that I would say most suits anyone with dark skin tone. Um, it's kind of like has a fine golden micro shimmer to it. And if you if someone comes up really close to your face and you've applied this too heavily, they will see gold flecks on your skin. Like you kind of have to have a very light hand, but once you get the technique of the application down, it really just gives you like a glowing beautiful face. A glowing beautiful face. And I literally have worn it every day. It doesn't do much to prolong the like longevity of your makeup itself, but it does make your makeup look hella fly. So I really like that. I love the idea of having glowing skin in the summer. I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't want to look all glowy and pretty all the time? Find me that person and I will find you a liar. And they will be the same person. So, But in terms of prolonging the longevity of your makeup, during summer it's hot. It's hot. It's sweaty. It's sunny. It's a little muggy sometimes. And that doesn't always mean good things for your face and makeup. The best makeup primer that I found for making my makeup stay in place all day long is the uh, Benefit Stay Flawless 24 Hour Primer. This is like gold in a bottle, in a tube. Gold in a tube. It is gold for the face. It makes your makeup stick around for so long. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It kind of feels like you're rubbing a glue stick on your face in the beginning, which is weird. I don't mean in the weight of the product, but in the fact that it's like a stick and you rub it on your face. And like it's slightly reminiscent of smelling like glue, but only a little bit. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Doesn't matter, it does good things. It's like a genie. It's a genie in a bottle, baby. It's a really good primer. Um, that is definitely a summertime essential. A good primer in general during the summer will save your face from looking like an oily hot mess. No one likes that. Now we're on to lips and eyes. Um, I'm first going to start off with eyeliners. Colored eyeliners. Look at me growing and experiencing new things. I never thought I would be someone who wears colored eyeliner. But I, I am and I love it. I was recently at Urban Outfitters and you know how they kind of sell makeup but like not really but like a little bit? So there was a pack of like Stila smudge stick waterproof eyeliners. There was a pack of five smudge sticks and it was on sale for $9.99. And I was like, what? Because individually these are like $20. It's in and around the $20 mark for each of them and I bought five of them for, for $10. So I was like, hells yes I will. And it made me realize that I actually really love wearing colored eyeliner in my lower uh, lash line. I love it. I'm wearing this green one right now um, in the shade Emerald, in the shade Emerald, and it's just like a beautiful minty green, and I love colored eyeliners during the summertime. So the green one is something that I'm really loving, and the brown one for like a little, something a little bit more subtle than what I've done today, which is like a big, thick, black, waiting eyeliner. But when I'm feeling summertime, I was going to say summertime sadness, but that's not what I meant didn't mean to quote Lana. When I'm feeling summertime ready, I loved colored eyeliners. Okay, last we have the lips. The lips are always my favorite part of everything. I love lipstick. I am a fiend. In terms of summer wear, I kind of stray away from the reds when it's summertime. I mostly keep that during like winter and fall, but 
in terms of my favorite lip colors, I like my hot pinks, I like my corals, and I like my purples. Mostly because I just love purples all the time. I just think purple's like the most fun, slightly weird lip color to wear. And like, it's always very shocking and jarring when you're seeing someone wearing purple lipstick just because it's not like the go-to. But I also think it's stunning. And if like you can rock it, then you should because purple's really fun. But I'm getting away from myself. Let me show you the lipsticks that I have at first summertime. First is Impassioned by MAC. It is like one of my all-time favorite hot pink lipsticks. It's just... It's just perfect. It is perfect. I don't know how else to describe it. It is the most beautiful, bold, bright, hot pink lipstick. Super pigmented. A lot more wearable than you would think it is. But if you're someone who is wary of wearing colors like this, um, putting like a deeper gloss over it or lining your lips with like a more of your own skin toned lip liner also helps a lot. Um, I don't because I like it bright. But I could see how someone couldn't, and I, I think it's gorgeous. Um, I also, in the pink family, have loved, loved this Bite Beauty lip pencil in the shade Blood Orange. Whew, let me show you. It is like a bright, corally, orangey, pinky goodness color. It's, it's this one right here. And the formula is just really smooth and not drying at all but extremely pigmented and you only need the littlest bit and I love that it's in a pencil that doesn't need to be sharpened because I hate wasting product in like um, pencil kind of things that need sharpening and it's just it's <sighs> the words they don't exist to describe the beauty that is this lip pencil in blood orange because I liked this one so much I also bought another one that I think is awesome for summertime it is in the shade grape and this is what I mean when I say like a pretty bold purple. It looks like this. I mean, if you're going to start wearing purples, I would definitely start off with a shade kind of like this that has a little bit of pink in it because pinky purple makes it a little bit more wearable. But uh, that's the color right there. I can't tell from here if you could see what I'm swatching, so this could all be for naught. But, um... Oh, that's the shade right there. You see what I mean? It's like purple, but like it's got a little bit of pink going on. It's a, it's a party on your lips. I always get compliments on my lipstick when I wear this shade of purple. Always. And it's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And it's kind of like a little bit, I want to say milky, but that feels like a weird word to say for the color. But like, it's like a almost lilac-y, pinky color, but bright. So, there's that. And that concludes my summertime beauty essentials. Let me know in the comments down below what you're loving for the summertime because I want to know what you love because then I will take that and probably love it also and we can love it together. I love love. So so I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to check out my blog Wait a Little if you want to hear a little bit more from me a little bit more often. You probably don't but maybe you do because you're crazy and I love you for it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.